In this tutorial I'm going to talk about editing roads, creating roads and moving nodes about and joining them together. Um, firstly you want to start with the add a new track tool and then you want to select which cross section and materials uh, will be applied to begin with. You can always change them as you go along but um, this will be uh, what determines the shape of the track and the materials that are on it. You'll notice here that some of these uh, have got an AC on the end of them. They're specifically for a set of course or um, so if you are targeting that game those are the only ones that you'll see because the other ones won't work they use vertex blending and so I'm just going to select the, the first one off here and um, we'll just start clicking and dragging your, your first time you want to click and drag at the same time and then release otherwise you get two nodes right on top of each other and it won't look pretty um, so do this move along to wherever you want your track I've got just a, a rising hill there in the distance and um, and click along and what, rule of thumb for me is when I get to it just over a thousand meters I tend to start a new track and I'll press escape and I'll continue on starting a new track do this I'm just going to do it very roughly here get to about a thousand meters there and that's the total amount of meters uh, all over press escape and it'll start a new track so I'm purposely putting the, the new one right next to the old one. Anyway, that'll do for now. I'll switch to the move nodes and um, what we want to do firstly is just join those up. So I just grab that node there and you'll notice as I get closer to the other one it turns a yellow and there it's joined up. Both, both um, tracks are, are moving. Now because of the curve, moving the, the second one next to it is also going to impact on it. and. Um, so yeah, you're affecting two tracks. If you want to select the other track, you can just click on it like that. Uh, if you want to insert a node, just hold the insert button, uh, sorry, the control button, and um, click on the track and drag around. Um, if you want to move several nodes, you can do that. You can hold shift down and just circle it, or you can release shift and just circle which ones. Now holding shift while you move those will move them all together. Holding the shift and Y key will move them up and down beneath the, the train. Um, by default they sit at train level but you can move them up. This can be interesting and I'll show you later on why. Um, if you want to, uh, you'll, you'll notice there the, the node that is the join is blue. If I want to unjoin it simply highlight that and press delete and they've split apart. It won't look pretty now that they're close together and you'll find gaps and things like that so you want to move it apart. If you, if you did want to move the tracks close together but you didn't want them joined as soon as I release this it'll join. If I didn't want to do that just untick this join tracks and then when I move it it'll sit right there and it won't join no matter what I do. Click join and join again. And there's the other track. Now there are limitations to this. Um, you cannot join a track onto itself. Um, so I couldn't just start making a track and have it join onto itself. Won't work. Um, there are technical reasons why that is and I won't go into it. But you can do that. Um, realistically you, you want to start playing around this and, and find the, the limitations. You don't want tracks which are you know uh, tens of kilometers long because one they're slow to to move about and generate and two when you go to export them into game um, you want your roads broken up into pieces so that the level of detail can work better you also see here that the nodes want to be spaced out nicely if you have them too bunched up you start getting little kinks there are ways that you can work with this and um, I'll show you that later on with cross sections um, and something typically that you'll come across here is that you've got the terrain and you want to traverse your way up the hill so usually these corners is where I, I use the Y key and you hold Y and you move that down or you move that one up so it flattens that out flattens the road out and um, I'll just move this up here and put another couple of nodes by holding control in here and here um, so if you want to flatten that out, um, hold the Y key, you can do that. So it dents down in. 
Um, now I found with the nodes they tend to sit better if you don't have them right in the corner. If I put one there it doesn't really work too well but also on the approach you need your nodes spaced out nicely otherwise this curve won't, won't work too well. Um, but I tend not to put one right in the middle there and I have it spaced out a bit better like that when I'm working with my tracks. Um, so holding the, the Y key, you, you tend to notice in real life that the corners, <coughs> they tend to flatten out the roads around corners going up hills or down hills and um, the incline and the real work done by the cars is, is on the straight bit before it starts another section. So if I was to create another track here, um, it would go up the hill steeply there, but this end bit here We'll just join that up. Um, this end bit here would um, tend to flatten out, so I might just grab those two, hold Shift and Y, and bring them down a bit. Might just hold the Y key for that, and bring that down, and hold the Y key for that, bring that up. Um, that's well and good. There's um, I could work with that a little bit better, but um, time is short. I want to show you something else that you can do uh, with your tracks. Uh, I'll just come over here, which is um, pretty good. By default, they're cutting into the terrain, um, but they don't have to, so you can switch that off, and um, so that's no longer cutting in. Why would you want to do that? Well, uh, if you do that and uh, raise it up a little bit, and I'll raise that up a little bit you can see that it's going to make a nice bridge there um, and so you could have another track just joining it there and another one um, whoop, just joining it there and so you've got a bit of a bridge it's a one-sided bridge at the moment so you'd need to to wrap the shape um, you can see more about cross sections later on and how that might work um, and um, yeah that's about all I've got to to show you. Um, enjoy! Thanks for watching!